Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Sport Aviation Expo at Sebring. I'm with uh, John Hurst in the cockpit of a Flight Designs CTLS and he's going to run us through the new Dynon Skyview which is available for the LSA market, new to the Flight Designs line and is also available for the Experimental line. I'm going to go over the um, Dynon Skyview uh, option for the uh, Flight Design CTLS. The Skyview uh, package comes with dual D1000 10-inch uh, Skyview screens. It also includes an upgrade to the Garmin uh, 696 7-inch uh, moving map GPS as well as the Garmin uh, GTX 330 transponder all upgraded from our, our standard package of the D100, D120, uh, 327 and uh, 496. The uh, very unique thing about the Skyview in the, um, in the Flight Design CTLS is that we have two uh, independent ADA HARS units, one installed in each wing. We even have independent pitot tubes, one for one ADA HARS, one for the other to make a truly redundant system. Uh, you'll notice that there are no analog instruments anymore. We found that the, these uh, uh, glass panels tend to be, uh, on their own, quite a bit more reliable than some of the analog uh, instruments in the past. Uh, if we start with the uh, screen on the left here, you'll see we have our, our uh, PFD, which is a bit familiar. Also uh, overlaid is a, um, um, is a synthetic vision display. Uh, you also have, if I bring some airspeed up here, you'll see that we have a uh, flight path marker. Uh, this is in demo mode, so this is basically just going to follow whatever I do with my bug. So I bring some airspeed up. There's your flight path marker there. If we had some wind pushing us to the right, for example, you see your flight path marker skewed over a little bit to the right. So what this is showing us right now, that flight path marker is on that mountain, so eventually we are going to hit that mountain. Um, we'll bring our airspeed back down to zero, so we can... We can uh, uh, we can continue to see that landscape. Uh, we'll make a uh, we'll make a climb here a little bit so you can see what that looks like. And you see again our flight path marker just quickly moved up there. On the right side we have our uh, MFD multifunction flight display, which is going to show you um, always show have engine instruments uh, are uh, always displayed here on the right, and then you have the option of bringing up a backup uh, PFD display. Um, full screen engine instruments for a nice easy scan or a terrain map. And uh, you can see in our demo mode right now, we're actually in the red, so that means we have hit that mountain. Um, that's, uh, that's basically what we have on the right side. The Dynon Skyview is available in the CTLS. The upgrade cost for the Skyview, including both 10 inch screens. Uh, upgrade from the 496, the standard 496, to the 696, as well as an upgrade to the GTX 330 Mode S transponder, a redundant GPS, uh, uh, two dual redundant ADA HARS, and an EMS module is $13,095 above the standard base price of $139,800. Uh, so the total price for is equipped here is around. The total price is equipped here is 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 one hundred fifty nine thousand dollars. Okay. And uh, how do we contact Flight Design? Best way to contact Flight Design is Flight Design USA. www.flightdesignusa.com. Uh, their phone number, area code 860-963-7272, are here in the southeastern U.S. You can contact Flight Design Southeast at uh, 863-655-2242. We're located right here in Sebring, Florida. Okay. Thanks for the burger, John. All right. Thank you.